What's up everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Reef RX. Today I'm going to show you how to hook up the Neptune breakout box to control your cabinet lights so when you open the doors they automatically turn on. Let's get started. So here are some of the supplies that you'll need to get started. You'll first need your Neptune breakout box. You're going to want to purchase some door contacts. These are just uh, door window contacts uh, that you would use for an alarm system in a house. Make sure they're wired. Um, I'm going to be setting up one on each door, so I'll be using two. Uh, but if you only want to set up uh, one door, you would just need one. You'll want some wire strippers. A very small flathead screwdriver. Some wire nuts and some electrical tape. And then you'll probably want some speaker wire depending on where the location of your breakout box and door contact uh, will be. So the next thing I want to do is determine where I'm going to place my contacts. So the wired part will go inside the cabinet like so. And then the other part that is just the uh, magnetic part of the contact will go against the door. Once I have my contacts in place it's time to go ahead and wire this up. So these contacts will be wired in series because I have two. If I'm only using one, you can skip this step. To wire them in series, I'm just going to take one wire from each contact and wire them together. So this is where you're going to want to strip the wires and use a wire nut and some uh, electrical tape to hold this connection together. Once I have that done, I'm going to take my extra wire uh, that I have because my breakout box is going to be on the left side here. So I'll run a wire, the speaker wire back around the tank into the this side um, and connect it to my breakout box. So I'm actually using uh, security wire. I believe this is 18 4 gauge. Um, so it has four wires in this but I only need two so I'll just use um, the red and the black for this and the white and the green I won't use. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and strip the wires to make nice clean connections. So the two wires, uh, I'm sorry, one wire from each contact will get wired together to wire these in series. And then the other two wires will attach to the speaker wire or security wire I just ran to the other side of my tank. So I got this all stripped, twist these together. Throw a wire nut on this and then I'll use some tape so they don't fall off the wire nuts. So now I'll take one of the two wires from what I ran and attach it to one end of the contact and I'll take the other wire and attach the other wire from the contact just like so. And then this wire is going to attach to here. And then I'm going to do the same thing, wire nut and some tape. If you have something that will crimp the wire, that will probably work better because these are small wires. So these are small wire nuts, but they're not ideal. But it's all I have. And it will still get the job done. Once I'm done with this, I'll go through and make the wires nice and neat. I'll hide these wires and these wire nuts so you don't see any of this. The only thing you'll see is the door contacts. All right, so this is essentially wired. So there's nothing further with that I need to do. Now I'll come over to the other side of the tank and I'll grab the other wire that's coming out and I will strip those same two wires that I just used, the red and the black wire. These are the two wires that are gonna go into my breakout box. Once I strip them, I'm just going to twist each one individually because this is stranded wire. So that way I can just stick it right into the breakout box. So here is the breakout box. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stick one wire into the ground GND and then I'll stick one wire into any of those numbers there that I want to use. I'll probably just use 16. This is where you'll need your small flathead screwdriver. So you're going to want to unscrew if it's hard to see, when you unscrew, there's a, something that opens here, like a little, like a little door, if you will. So once it's open, I'll stick one wire into the ground. You want to make sure you strip these or twist it in half, so you don't have too much copper sticking out. And then you'll tighten it. 
And then my second wire I'll put into 16. So now that I have everything wired, I'm gonna go ahead and connect the other end of the breakout box into the uh, Apex system. And uh, then I'll show you how to program it on the app. So next we'll go ahead and log into the Neptune system app. We're gonna go down to our uh, cabinet light that needs to be plugged into our energy bar. And for the configuration, we'll put um, set off and I'll write if SW6, so that's switch six, because that's where we put this wire into. Uh, so if switch six open, then on. And save. So now we come over to our stand, and as soon as we open the cabinet door, the light will come on. Regardless of which door we open, it'll turn on. And if we have both open, it'll stay on. So these will only shut off when the cabinet doors are completely closed. Thanks so much for watching guys. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Hopefully you found this helpful and useful. If you have any questions, please be sure to leave them in the comments. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe.